Shani for Christ is a social media personality and what people call a lol cow or a scammer. She was known for her YouTube channel where she posted various types of content, mainly surrounding religion. However, her main channel was removed from YouTube. You see, Shani was removed due to a violation of the site's child safety policy. A video showed her partner, Jason, known as Revelation News, on the platform, threatening to harm a child, which led to her ban from YouTube. Despite this, she tried to evade the system by creating new channels, which were also subsequently removed. When this all happened, her two minor children were removed from her care due to abuse and neglect in the home. Shani continues to stream on other platforms, and today, I have an important update on her situation. Hello everyone, it's Queen of Karma here again. Sorry, I don't normally cover lol cows on my channel, but Shani came across my radar, mainly due to her massive grifting and running cancer scams. However, I did do a three-part series that you all seem to enjoy on who she was and what she was all about. You can check that out later if you haven't yet. So I thought I would pop on and update you on the latest big news. Without further ado, I'll roll my intro and we'll get right into it. Karma's a bitch. On May 28th of 2024, a wild revelation news appeared to give us a very important update that Shani for Christ has officially lost custody of the two boys. Let's hear what they had to say and pay very close attention to the reasons they give. Remember why Shani lost her YouTube channel and why the boys were taken away to begin with. Was looking good and fixing your hair really that important in this moment, Rev, really? Because you failed still. Anyway. Hi. So, uh, today's not a very good day at all. Uh, got woken up to a knock at the door. And it was, uh, the mailman. And he had me sign something that, you know, you get the time-sensitive stuff that you have to sign for. Uh, and it was, uh serving papers for the custody of Zachary. Um, I don't know what's going on with William. Something different, I guess. I don't know. I'm just a paramour, so. Ah, you see, William might be at the age where he can make his own decision on where he lives. So they lost custody of the youngest child, Zachary. And of course, this is a very sad situation in which these kids were not safe in this home and they've been removed and hopefully they are doing way better and are much happier elsewhere. But it's never nice hearing that somebody lost custody of their kids. The thing is, they didn't have to come out here and tell us anything. They instead turned this situation into something else, as you're about to see. Um, <clears throat> there's something you need to know about. Everybody needs to know about. An hour um, and a half before court. Note that. Note that. An hour and a half before Kurt court. We were served papers. That's how horrible the U.S. government is. How come you weren't at the courts an hour and a half before court? See, that might be part of the problem here. So there's something you need to know about. Fucking pigs! There's something we need to know about pigs? What? It, it turns out that CPS all across the country, you could say has a fascination with taking native children from their parents. My children don't have one native bloodline in them. They have two, they have Cherokee and Mohican. Yeah, Rev, so what are you even talking about, bud? Her kids aren't even native. <laughs> so I thought you should know this. It's so gross how they act in court over the native blood. It's so fucking gross. Yeah. They, they're they very, very concerned about that when you're talking in court with them. 
Have we got any update on the status of the father? Well, no, never. You're never going to have that. He realizes it's weirder to hide the father or not know the father, right? No? Okay. The paramour is right next to the fucking wife, but whatever. Uh, do we have any update on the status of the native blood of the boy? Every court session. Every one of them. That's because you must have told the courts that the boys were native, so now they want to see proof of that. And then if you fail to provide that proof, then that's an issue. How, how do you not know this? Do we have any update on the status of the native blood of the boys? <laughs> I'm not the only one. I want you to just Google... CPS seizure of native children and see what comes up. So I, I Googled it and my guess is that they want to know the status of the children because in 2023, the U.S. Supreme Court upheld the Indian Child Welfare Act of 1978. The federal law was enacted to protect the best interest of Indian children and to promote the stability and security of Indian tribes and families. It establishes minimum standards for the placement of Indian children in foster and adoptive homes and ensures that tribes and families are involved in child welfare cases. So if the child has a tribe, they want to know about it. The act is considered a gold standard in child welfare, emphasizing a child's right to live within their community and a family's right to participate in child welfare proceedings that reflect their cultural and social standards. That's not to say that there hasn't been a large amount of Native children that have been put in residential housing in the USA, like the history here where I'm from in Canada. I'm sure that very much the same thing went on in the US, but I think that the reason why they want to know about this is, is more for this. But I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Unfortunately, what they have proven, though, is that Native American groups make up 2% of the total U.S. population, but they are actually 15.2% of child abuse cases. And th this is what that was. Of course, there's a lot of factors that add into that, including the bad history of how they were treated of course, so it's multi-layered. So, although Rev may not be completely wrong, I don't think this has anything to do with their case, you know? Because I'm not sure what would come up. Now they're going but. after the whitewashed ones. Are you fucking kidding me, Shani? So there you go. There's a little fucked up stuff for you for today in uh, in the realm of uh, what the U.S. government does to people and natives. <laughs> I want to talk about the history of what the United States has done to the native people of America. Wow. I think it's just as bad, Rev, that you guys are using that history, which I'm not even sure if you are native, but you're using that history to excuse the fact that you lost Zachary due to child abuse and neglect and that not going to the court hearings, not doing any of the stuff that CPS told you to do, just continuing on with life as if nothing had happened. You knew time was ticking and here we are I, I told real the, ugly one. i told the court fuck your court system fuck the u.s government fuck all of you you're all gonna burn in hell yeah and i'm sure that that had nothing to do with any of this right Cause they are. I talked about this. Uh, William had to be about three when I started noticing this. So 15 years I've been talking about how CPS has been stealing native children's kids. 
And it, it, it's like as soon as my children were born, I was already in the system. Being harassed as a mother about their blood and their native heritage, always. It's very weird, it's very predatory, and it's very creepy. At the beginning of this, Shani stated that her kids were not native. Now all of a sudden they are native and the system wanted to take them because they're native. And for the rest of this stream, you're just staring at their couch. So I thought I would make it more interesting for all of you. But because Shani telling the internet everything about her life has worked out so well for her in the past, she continues on with this conspiracy theory and vents to the internet about how she feels about losing Zachary. So I started reporting it on the internet. Plenty of natives came by, tell me their stories, because they'd gone through it. I was seeing it in Duluth with the native clans there, of them taking the children. They're still taking the children. Instead of going after those who have brown skin, they're now going after the ones with the white skin. In your case, they're just saving a child that was neglected and abused, who you couldn't even keep a roof over his head and food in his belly. And what are you talking about? Like, you're doing interviews with people and stuff. Like, th this never happened. People have seen your entire internet life from start to finish. What are you making up now? They're going after the whitewashed natives, the ones that have the European blood in them. Because their family was raped. You know, my great grandmother, she was full blood Mohican. She had the ruddiest red skin you could ever think of. She was full, full native. Gave birth to my grandmother, Ruth. Ruth, my great, my grandmother, she had violet eyes. Not really sure how the eye color comes into play, but okay, continue. And her skin color still had a ruddy red, but was whiter because she married an Irish man. My son's line, they are related to John Smith. Related to John Smith. Anyway, hold that thought. I need to take you over to Original Owl stream for a moment because this cracked me the fuck up. My son's line, they are related to John Smith. And you know how far back John Smith goes and his family with the native people. Is she talking about fucking John Smith and Pocahontas? Tell me that's not where she is pulling this John Smith name from. Is she talking about fucking John Smith and Pocahontas? Tell me that's not where she is pulling this John Smith name from. Is she talking about fucking John Smith and Pocahontas? Tell me that's not where she is pulling this John Smith name from. Is she talking about fucking John Smith and Pocahontas? Tell me that's not where she is pulling this John, John Smith, Smith name from. from. Aw, sweetie, you're so pretty. Makes me giggle to think that, like, original Owl doesn't realize that Pocahontas is actually based on a true story. Now, do I think that Shani and her bloodline are in any way related to John Smith? No, of course not. But it made me laugh when I saw Owl reacting like that because it was almost as if she didn't pick up that it, it is a real person. She knows that, right? Anyway, let's just continue on now with our favorite grifters. And you know how far back John Smith goes and his family with the native people. I think you've seen Pocahontas. Fucking John Smith and Pocahontas. Tell me that's not where she is pulling this John Smith name from. If you see Pocahontas, you would know, I guess. So my, my sons have that North Carolinian Cherokee blood in them. And I think the government is so obsessed with the natives and 
And I'm talking about the governments of the world, like the Aboriginal people, like people who are native on their land. Because right now what's going on in all these native cultures around the world is we are having a spiritual awakening right now. And we feel the cries of the planet. The planet did not cause your kids to be taken away, Shani. You did. And we, f we feel the cries of the great spirit. Were those cries overtaking the sound of your children's cries? Like, I'm confused what this has to do with anything. And we know this world is going down a dark path. Where there's really no turning back. And we're waiting for the great spirit to return to earth. So we can be safe again. Away from the evil ones. Because the evil ones are what's destroying the earth. The evil ones are what's taking our children. The evil ones are what's destroyed most of our culture and our people. <laughs> Just think about it, hundreds of millions of my people. The Cherokees are out here like, we don't claim this bitch. Keep us out of your child abuse case, would you lady? <laughs> Have died for essentially white man's land development. And I know a lot of people are laughing because they're like, you are white. <laughs> Only in skin color and spirit, I'm not white. <sighs> Never have been. Oh, great. We have another Rachel Dolezal on our hands, folks. I've never been like them white people. I never was really interested in material things. I was more worried about the animals and the plants. You know, I've been crying about the bees for so long and so many people laughed at me. There's no extinction of the bees going on. I saw a bee the other day. Yeah, you lie. You lie. So basically you cry for everyone except for your children when you lose them. Like, nature is not what it used to be like when I was a child. Like I, re I remember when I was a child, there was always ants on the ground and birds all over, just birds. The, the, the sound of birds and, and squirrels all over and different types of bugs, just not ants, but different types of moths and butterflies, types of uh, different plants too, wild plants grew. Now it's just this rough grass that does nothing for the earth or soil. You know, I, re I remember a lot more birds, you know. I, I can't remember the last time I've seen like a cardinal or a bluebird. Or your children. I know the finches that were here just a couple years ago, they're gone. And I love that, waking up every morning to the chirping of birds. That's really the only thing, illness. Thanks, Ella. Thank you. I know I'm most likely going to die soon. I'd rather than be in a safe place. Right. The truth is that Rev and Shani have accepted the loss of these children since the moment that it happened. They knew over a year ago that they were not going to be ever getting them back. 
Shani has had numerous opportunities to get herself help, get herself better, and do better for those boys. And she hasn't taken any of them. And I doubt this is going to change in future. Instead of her concentrating on getting the boys back, all she cared about was how the internet viewed her and the situation. As, as you're seeing right now, and will see for the rest of this video, that's still all Shani cares about and will ever care about. God, I wish we had drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be dumb. Well, as you guys can see, if you want to draw, I can get. Oh, you don't have. To. Yeah. Well, you said it. I mean, I wouldn't bring it up at all. You know. But obviously, there's some pain going on. So, it, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Just use that situation to, uh, grift. That's right, guys. Uh, Shani is feeling a lot of pain right now. So if you just wouldn't mind donating so that she can go numb herself, that would be great. You know, just throw us a couple bucks. I need ciggies. <laughs> Fuck off, Rev. Wouldn't have lost the kids had you not abused one. So for you to even talk in this moment is kind of annoying to me. Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> So horrible for asking for money, I know. It's so horrible. Uh, sir, right now is not the time for your sarcasm. Again, shut up. She you know what I mean? It's like, like whatever. I, I'm willing to do it, you know? Ladies and gents, it's the whale song. <laughs> they don't even give you enough time to petition the court. Like every time there was a court, they wouldn't tell you. They wouldn't tell no. me until maybe maybe a half an hour, five minutes pro beforehand. I didn't even know there was a court. The main way we found out about court dates was John Silver, man. It was John telling us. Yeah, the ad litem. The ad litem. The, the CPS people never talk to us. Ever. Huh? The kids were taken away because Rev abused one of them. Almost got charged for it. Charges were dropped because Shani refused to show up to court. Then she invited him back into the home. At that point, CPS is going to see her as just as much a threat to the children as Rev is. Until she got him out of the house, she'd be seen as a big threat to them. So no, they wouldn't be there handing you all the updates. Shani would have had to have left Rev, go and established herself on her own, done all of the things that CPS told her to do, such as parenting classes, addiction counseling, anger management, etc. And then she would have been updated and respected as their parent. She did none of these things, never reached out to them to try to find out what was going on, and just sat around doing the whale song while Rev begged for Siggy money. That's why they're in the position they're in now. It is nobody's fault but their own. The pity party is over. Pity train left the station, took everyone with it. The internet has run out of pity for these people, and at this point, rightfully so. No, they just played games because they, <laughs> they had to try to make it look like they did something before court. Okay. Yeah, block that motherfucker. Bye, bye. They can go to hell. Not true. The boys were never underweight. That's a lie. You're a liar. Where did they get that? Probably G-Man. That wasn't true, though. That was well, never in any documents. Well, yeah. That was net failure to thrive was never a thing. They can't look at court documents. They are sealed because it's minors. Stop acting like you know something when you don't. 
Shani is right, all of those records would be sealed, even in the USA, and telling anyone on YouTube anything would be a breach of confidentiality, which could get the workers to lose their license and ability to practice in social work ever again. Lawyers that told anyone information could also lose their ability to practice law. So nobody on YouTube knows any information about the boys. It's all been lies. I am sorry to apparently be the one to break it to you all along with Shani here, but this is the only thing that she tells the truth about in this whole video. You can't look at adolescent files. They are sealed. You stupid fucks. Yeah, I saw what you said, Holly, if I had money to get a bottle of wine for her, I would. I don't got no money for that. Nobody's got money nowadays. It's because this goddamn government wants to kill us all off. So they can seize the land to themselves and sell it to their buddies. <laughs> this one is like, Janie, what the fuck are you even talking about? We get it. You're trying to cope. But, like, d do it off the internet. It would be what's best for you. And even what's best for your boys in future. You know, if you care about that at all. They don't give a fuck about us. You think the government actually gives a fuck about you? No, we never said they were underweight. You're gone. That Wario person is back again. Yeah, they can go fuck themselves, man. Go. Yeah, go you're, away. You're gone. You're not welcome on my channel. If they got the documents, they got them illegally. Yeah, they do that type of shit, Angela. They do. No, it's not on the documents at all. I think they do this because they're trying to have us and pressure us to show the documents. I'm not going <laughs> to show you sealed documents to a bunch of fucking retards on the internet. Honestly, Shani, that might be one of the smartest things that you've ever said. That is most likely exactly what they are doing. And you are absolutely right. You should not show a single soul those documents. I'm sorry. I get that we're all YouTube creators out here. And some of us think it's funny when she rages out and all of this. But there's going too far. That's all I'll say about that. Please don't ever do that, Shani. You're right. Good job. First time ever. I'm gonna probably never say that again, but... Good job. Fuck you, and you fuck your fucking lies. Fine, fuck you too then. It's all you people. Oh, it's that cunt. It's all you evil oh, people know how to do is lie. Who? I see. Oh, she's absolutely crazy, man. She does videos on it daily, all lies. Yeah, everyone knows she's crazy. I'm not worried about her ass. She was talking Trisha up a or trick trisha uh what the what not trisha Payton. truthfully truthfully trisha for years is she talking about owl like original owl from youtube tell me she's not talking about that owl from youtube king john smith and pocahontas tell me that's not where she is pulling this john smith name from so fuck her thanks angela go lick my cunt ella go lick my cunt Make sure to finger me, too. It's how I like it. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Bitch. <laughs> Ellen is, Ella is Draven's friend. I'm sure they are. I'm not okay with anyone speaking uh, about those children. Yeah, I thank, thanks, Matt. That, see, I mean, that. I feel the same way about this shit. I, it should never have been in anybody's purview at all about our no! kids. It should not. Things would have changed if they didn't interfere in our lives. Mm -hmm. They would have been happy and with their parents like they should be. In the habitat, yeah. Are you talking about the haters and people on the internet? Or are you talking about the evil government and CPS that allegedly were trying to steal your children from birth because they were related to John Smith? Fucking John Smith and Pocahontas. Nah, but you messed up our lives purposely to do that to me. Well, you did it to me. Are you happy? Yeah. 
So wait, now the internet and the haters force the government and CPS to want to take your children from birth because they're related to John Smith. Fucking John Smith and Pocahontas. Because the evil internet wanted to hurt you. I'm having a little bit of trouble following along with this conspiracy theory, but I guess it's back to being the internet's fault. It's always everyone else's fault except yours, isn't it, Shani and Rev? Interesting. Go congratulate, you sick bastards. Go congratulate and laugh about it. But you're never going to know where my children are. Mm -mm. They're at a safe place where you can't fucking touch them. Yeah, Rev. I think she's talking to you, bud. And you can't harass me anymore with it anymore. Fifteen years of my life, you harassed me with it. Fifteen years. Do you honestly think I give a shit what you people have to say? And your little congratulations? And laughing and conjoling? Over a family being torn up? Yeah, it's so funny. When you're in front of the Lord, God is going to eviscerate you, everyone responsible for this. And you're going to burn for all eternity knowing that you did it to yourself. And it's going to be God that's laughing now. It's not your dumbasses. And to the people out there who want to say, are you, are, you, are you talking about me? Well, you know what? If it fits you, then it applies, I guess. If you have the need to feel that I'm talking about you, then I guess it fits you. That's your conscience. Saying, uh, you know, she's kind of correct. Don't get mad at me because you got caught in your sin. Yeah, Holly, you're right. You're right about that. You didn't take my soul, though. You didn't take my soul, though. You didn't kill the spirit in me. You didn't kill my faith. You only made it stronger. Thank you for that. Solidifying my strength and my faith in Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. So I think Shani is losing her fucking mind. Uh, she definitely doesn't want to take any responsibility or accountability for anything that's happened, and neither does Rev. And they're just going to continue living in denial. Unfortunately, this is the end of this story for me. I have no interest in following them anymore and finding out what happens. My only interest was the safety of the children. And now, as she says, They're in a safe place where you can't fucking touch them. So the kids are finally safe from Shani and Rev and the crazy reactors on the internet. There is no happy ending to this story, unfortunately, other than the fact that the boys can now heal and go on and do better in their future, hopefully be productive, healthy adults in our society, unlike their parents. But I think that these two are going to stream and grift until the end of time. And there will always be people out here to call them out on their bullshit. Let me know what you think about all of this down below. I promised I would update everyone with the status of the children. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. It wasn't their entire video. I did have to cut a little bit out because I just don't care enough. I'm sorry. You can go and watch it on other channels if you so choose. But I really do hope that you stick around here to watch some other crazy grifters with me. I'm gonna go hug my babies. Have a fabulous rest of your day. Take care and I'll see you again soon with another one. I've never been like them white people. <laughs>
They're in a safe place where you can't fucking touch them. In Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Call me a god. You call me a god. You call me a god. You call me a god. Let's go. I'm about to go off like a weapon. Fuel to the top, gotta fill the pension. In my thoughts, obsession. I will not stop, no, I'm never second guessing. I got a god complex. Haters love to hate, but I never feel pressed. Got a lot on my plate, but I never get stressed. I'll take all the pressure like I'm facing this test. Oh, tear it up like I'm Jason. I see the world like it's ready for the taking. I see this place like a game I'm playing. Straight to the bank to collect my payments. No negotiations. It's my way. I was born impatient. And like a damn Freemason, I'll run this nation. They call me a